Welcome to Corey College of Computer Sciences 2022 graduation celebration. So that all degree candidates, guests, and participants may experience the meaning and enjoyment of this important occasion, we kindly request that you silence all devices. We thank you for making this a respectful and joyful occasion. At this time, we ask you to listen to a safety announcement. Welcome to Matthews Arena. For your safety, please take a moment to locate the exits closest to you. If an evacuation is required, please proceed calmly to the closest available exit and follow the direction of university officials and emergency personnel. If you see something, say something. Thank you and please enjoy the event. The marshals will now lead the procession of the degree candidates. Even some homies be wearing expressions. I be discouraged from sharing my blessings. We used to share a connection. Now it just feels like it's wearing and stretching. I'm getting real sick of taking advice from people that never could stare at reflections. Somewhere in there is a lesson. Y'all ain't involving is very depressing. I'm at the club with the basketball team. Me and the Cardinals are sharing a section. Gotta cherish the present. I'm drinking water and wearing protection. Got a career and I'm very invested. Some people call it a scary obsession. I like to call it a passion. I can be sitting relaxing. PG, we getting some traction. I'm at the venue, it's packed. In. I'm digging her accent. I got a BB Simon belt on me, and she trying to get it on fast. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she let it. Got my own flow, and I'm about to get a pet. Brand new sheets with a bend, they set. Y'all wouldn't tune in back then. My sweat man keep checking. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass it like stocking. Just Josh, I'm gonna spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten.
Would all graduates and guests please rise as you are able. Please remain standing until you are asked to be seated. The Dean of Corey College of Computer Sciences, Elizabeth Mina, and Associate Dean Benjamin Hescott will now lead the academic procession. Run from it, I'm gonna pull it out, shoot. PTSD. I'm always waking up a cold sweats like I got the flu. My daughter, the chief, she stopped me killing it in front of her before the age of two. And I kill another nigga, too. Why is another nigga do something to you? Because you know that don't mean nobody take me from Daddy Lee. Let's go. Brand new Lamborghini, a cop car. With pistol on my hip like I'm a cop. Have you ever met a real new rock star? This ain't no good talk, this a clock. Journey in the classroom with a project on the job. Congratulations! Every step of the journey, you triumphed. Yes! <laughs> and for your successes, we've been inspired by your passion, your hard work, and your impact as a leader. Congratulations! Every industry open to you. Yes! <laughs> Oh. 
Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets regular, the bombs bursting. flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the lands of the free and the Please welcome Kylie Bemis, Assistant Teaching Professor for our Indigenous Land Acknowledgement. <clears throat> Keshi, everyone. Hok Kylie Bemis Leshina. This winter, the Mashpee Wampanoag regained control of over 300 acres of their ancestral homeland around Cape Cod. Under Deb Holland, the Department of the Interior confirmed the tribe's sovereignty over the land after the previous administration attempted to remove the land from federal trust. It is an important victory, but tribal lands are always under attack. Last week was the National Day of Awareness for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women, Girls, and Two-Spirit People. It is a time when indigenous communities come together to honor and give a voice to our relatives who have been taken by settler colonial violence, often from their own ancestral lands. We wear red to remember them. We are gathered here today as members of a settler institution, Northeastern University. We acknowledge the indigenous peoples who live, steward, protect, and belong to the stolen lands we occupy as members of this university. We acknowledge that we on the Boston campus occupy the land of the Massachusetts and, and Wampanoag peoples. We acknowledge that we from the Nahant campus occupy the land of the Namkeag band of the Pawtucket tribe. We acknowledge that we from the Charlotte campus occupy the land of the Catawba nation. We acknowledge that we from, from the San Francisco campus occupy the land of the Ramaytu Shalone and the Coast Miwok. We acknowledge that we from the Silicon Valley campus occupy the land of the Muwek Ma'aloni. We acknowledge that we from the Seattle campus occupy the land of the Duwamish. We acknowledge that we from the Portland campus occupy the land of the Mi'kmaq, Maliseet, Passamaquoddy, and Penobscot peoples of the Wabanaki Confederacy. We acknowledge that we from the Toronto campus occupy the land of the Mississauga, Anishinaabek, Chippewa, Haudenosaunee, and Wendat peoples. We acknowledge that we from the Vancouver campus occupy the land of the Squamish, Salwatuth, and Musqueam nations. We acknowledge that these peoples can, can continue to live and care for these lands today as their parents and grandparents and ancestors did before them. We acknowledge that these people belong to these lands, and we acknowledge that these lands must be returned to them. Lastly, we acknowledge that we must hold settler institutions, including Northeastern University, accountable to their responsibility to return the land back to its indigenous protectors. As you continue on your journey, embrace your responsibility to know the people who belong to the land on which you are a guest, and hold your institutions responsible for taking the hard action to decolonize themselves. You can help grow a more indigenous future now. Elakwa, thank you. Please be seated. Welcome. My name is Benjamin Hescott. I'm the Associate Dean of Undergraduate Education and Experience and the Teaching Professor here at Corey College of Computer Sciences. 
I would like to welcome you all to our Courage College celebration. That's right. <laughs> This is a special day for both you and for us gathered here on the stage. And it is now my great pleasure to introduce the Dean of Corey College of Computer Sciences, Elizabeth Minette. Good evening and welcome to the graduates of the class of 2022. I am so excited to share this momentous day with you, your families and your friends. Today is personally meaningful to me as well as I preside over my first Corey College graduation celebrations. As students, you have been fortunate to be part of such a talented and supportive community during your time here. Graduate school is such an important milestone in your personal and professional life as you complete a more focused and advanced course of study that accelerates your future accomplishments and leadership. You've each been shaped by your time here at Cory, the challenges, the setbacks, the successes, and the cumulative insights that now guide your path. I'm sure that it has been a remarkable time, and many memories made here will travel with you. You have all demonstrated remarkable resilience. Attending college and graduating during a pandemic, congratulations, you have much to celebrate. Today, I want to spend time talking together about what comes next. Not just the immediate next, new job, new city, but how do you build upon your Cory Foundation to advance your career and improve the world around you? Five years ago, as a distinguished alumna, I was asked to address the graduating computer science class at NC State. Much of what I'm going to say today, I shared with those graduates as well. They are my thoughts on joining the profession of computer science. Unlike many professions, our field lacks a professional oath. You've no doubt heard of the Hippocratic Oath. The closest translation to the original Greek from 5th century BC is, do no harm permanently. There are many modern variations. An oft-used oath penned in 1964 contains the phrase, I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to my fellow human beings, those sound of mind and body, as well as the infirm. With special obligations to my fellow human beings. This phrase is particularly relevant today. Originating in Canada, many engineers traditionally receive the engineer's ring symbolizing the unity of the profession and its goal of benefiting humankind. Engineers received this ring after taking the oath written by Rudyard Kipling with the vow to be conscious always that my skill carries with it the obligation to serve humanity by making best use of the earth's precious wealth. The mythology of the ring is that they are forged from the steel taken from the first Quebec bridge which collapsed during construction in 1907. 75 workers died in that collapse, attributed to poor planning and design by the overseeing engineers. So as we gather today at the edge of your career as a degree-holding computer scientist, I ask you, what should be the professional oath of our field? What are our special obligations to fellow human beings. Computing touches so many aspects of everyday life. It touches almost every industry, from healthcare to commerce, transportation to manufacturing and more. Akin to engineering and bridge building, I argue that we have a special obligation to safety and security. And these obligations are more important now than ever. You've all heard of the well-publicized security breaches. And public awareness has shifted from amusement as when the theft of the uh, Orange is the New Black season was stolen from Netflix, to now really a persistent state of anxiety over countless data breaches exposing personal data gathered by major corporations and platforms. Cyber is now a new wartime front and frequent tool in malicious attacks on political parties, both here and abroad. Security and safety concerns are top of mind at almost every business 
and nonprofit organization. In the past few years, for example, many hospital systems have been held hostage by ransomware when hackers seize electronic medical records and demand payment for their safe return before the hospi hospital is able to resume its caregiving and operations. The infrastructure that supplies energy to our homes and manages the transportation in our cities is exposed to increasing threats. And every day, individuals, including a growing number of aging adults, are victims of fraud, scams, and identity theft. So why I applaud those of you who have specialized in cybersecurity, what we are witnessing now is that security is no longer just a specialized occupation. It is now the job of every computer scientist. Whether you're creating new updates to operating systems or writing front-end code for IoT devices, we must all work together to secure and protect humankind. So if security is our engineering obligation, then protecting privacy is our Hippocratic Oath. Increasingly, our field is doing harm through the pervasive collection and use of personal data. Anytime you consider collecting or storing personal data, ask yourself about the consequences of its potential misuse. As computer scientists, we love data. Who wouldn't want data to help debug a mobile service that relies on voice recognition? Except that in doing so, you may create a 24-7 spy system that could reside in every home. How we use data is getting trickier every day. There is so much data that you can create a screening system for bank loans or apartment rentals that doesn't include data on race or religion, but nevertheless has enough redundant information to illegally discriminate against specific groups, albeit invisibly. Our field is striving to create predictive systems, such as those that can predict crime activity and inform policing, but the data being fed into those systems is corroded with biases stemming from over-policing in targeted neighborhoods and racial profiling. So my call to you today is to be purposeful in your decisions. Computing technology is rarely neutral due to how deeply computing is ingrained in our society. And it is this deep relevance to the fabric of our daily life and to society that endows our field with so many wonderful opportunities. Computing enables to people to communicate and connect. It steers the operations of plane, trains, automobiles, as well as the news you read and the items that you purchase. It enables medical diagnosis and treatment and so much more. And the decisions you make, whether you're a startup entrepreneur or building enterprise systems for the largest corporations, your decisions impact the daily life experiences of humankind. So then, what are our special obligations that tap the best of our abilities to serve our fellow human beings? Up and down the stack, your profession demands that you strive to augment human action through networking that connects us, through the acquisition, storage, and analysis of data, through the safeguarding of our fellow human beings, and through the design of systems that promote creativity, problem solving, and collaboration, thus bootstrapping human activity in addressing the most pressing problems facing society today. Alan Kay, a pioneer in our field, famously said, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. It is now on your shoulders to own that amazing opportunity and responsibility, and Corey has prepared you to do so. Your values for how you serve society are your own. Just know that your profession calls you to integrate those values with your professional practice. You have your experiences here at Cori, professional resources such as the ACM Code of Conduct, and your network of colleagues, including your peers here today, to support you in your path. In 2017, I proposed an oath that I believe all computer scientists should take. Now more than ever, this oath is essential to guide the work we do on behalf of the larger society we serve. Today, I share this proposed oath with you. 
I would like Corey College to take the lead in further developing it with the hope that one day computer science graduates everywhere will commit to its principles. A copy of the original oath is on your chairs and I will read it now. Today, I join the ranks of computer scientists worldwide. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings. I will design and build computing systems that enhance the quality of daily life for individuals and for society. I will protect the dignity of users and others affected by computing systems, respecting the diversity of all cultures and safeguarding against threats to health and to safety. I will respect the privacy and rights of all people and recognize the special role I have in judiciously collecting, storing, and using their information and creating systems that aim to shape their behavior. I will work for fair wages, honorably guarding my reputation and my colleagues and our work practices while respecting the intellectual contributions of others. I will improve the public understanding of computing and its consequences. May I act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my field, and may I long experience the joy of inventing the future through my endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2022. I hope you will draw upon the relationships you have developed at Northeastern. This network will serve you well as your future unfolds. Much good work and exciting challenges lay before you. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Minette. It is now my pleasure to introduce our graduate speaker. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing Davina Raithatha. Davina Raithatha is an international student from Nairobi, Kenya, who is graduating from Corey College's Align MS in Computer Science program. As an undergraduate at Northeastern University, Raithatha studied business administration. During her time at Corey, she has served as the president of the Graduate Women Coders and executive vice president of graduate student government. She has also had an opportunity to pursue Corey's master's research apprenticeship with Dr. Alexandra Toe in the area of human-computer interaction. Davina currently serves as a woman who empowered ambassador and a member of the Young Global Leaders at Northeastern University. She is the recipient of the prestigious Huntington 100 Award and Outstanding Graduate Student Award in Leadership. Thank you. Good evening, Dean Minot, distinguished faculty, staff, friends, family, and the fellow members of Corey Class of 2022. I am incredibly humbled and honored to be here today alongside each of you, alongside this community. Today, as we all celebrate this momentous day, I want to share with you what I've gained from my time at Corey and its parallels with my experiences growing up in Nairobi, Kenya. During my childhood, I spent countless Sunday mornings on safari in Nairobi National Park. This park is located seven miles outside the buzzing metropolis that is the capital city of Kenya and can only be described as an absolute phenomena. To put it into perspective, Nairobi National Park is the only place in the world where you can see endangered lions against a backdrop of high rises, enjoy a champagne brunch in one of the most successful rhino sanctuaries, or see giraffes from the sky before your plane lands at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. It really is that spectacular. However, despite having gone on over 1,000 safaris in my lifetime, I can attest that nothing can prepare you for each unique experience. Regardless of the lists one can create to ensure everything is packed, from detailed maps to help guide you, to a wheel wrench for punchers, to a backup memory card so that you can capture every single moment with a camera. 
it's nearly impossible to be fully prepared for the journey. For example, who could have predicted the time my father would get out of the car to change a tire and face a lion only a few feet away? In my experience, whenever you go on safari, even if you take a familiar path, you won't have the same experience. Each new juncture leads you to an unimaginable variation in wildlife and birds amidst the endless and radiant Nairobi sky. Years later, when I began the master's program, this one we are all graduating from today, I had already spent five years of my life here at the Northeastern Boston campus. Although I had never written a single line of code, I asked myself, how different could this new experience be? Little did I know that no amount of preparation or anticipation would be enough. Like exploring on safari, I would have to embrace the unknown to get the most out of this graduate computer science program, to have the most fun, to gain the most knowledge, and to take on the most opportunities that I could. While drawing these parallels between my experience in graduate school and my experience as a child, I have learned the importance of being able to navigate and pivot during the journey, welcome uncertainty, and celebrate the inevitable surprises along the way. My direction during the master's program was set by my intention, the decision I had made to pivot to computer science from other possible career paths. Despite my future being uncharted, I embraced new experiences, knowing that my transition to technology was thoughtful and intentional. Up to now in my speech today, I have focused on the unknown and the splendor and the uniqueness of each experience. One thing I have not yet mentioned was that I always had my parents and siblings with me during these drives in Nairobi National Park. No matter what would happen, we were in it together, even if it meant being stuck in three feet of black cotton soil. Similarly, at Cori, I have been very lucky to find my community and create a Boston-based family filled with individuals, including fellow students, TAs, advisors, and faculty who have embraced our ride through life, celebrated all our achievements, and even redirected us when we've hit roadblocks. It was during my tenure as president of Graduate Women Coders that I truly began to see the power in having this type of community with shared experiences that help us all tackle the unknown together, on campus and beyond. While I aspire to build a diverse community of women who support, empower, and encourage their peers to succeed, the comfort provided by community, my Northeastern family, played a larger role than I could have ever anticipated. Looking ahead, the goal I want for all of us to continue to achieve is to build these communities and chosen families in all of the environments and contexts that we are in. While each journey will be different, presenting different experiences and opportunities, there will be good times where we come together to celebrate accomplishments, and there will be bad times where we must rely on community for support, guidance, and mentorship. I want to end by saying that I sincerely believe that these communities are created by their members, us, ultimately designed with the intention of growing together and exploring our life's journeys together. These communities are nurturing, dynamic, and beneficial to all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Davina. At this time, I would like to recognize our graduate students who won university awards. The Outstanding Graduate Student Award in Leadership went to our very own student speaker, Davina Rathatha. This award recognizes graduate students who have demonstrated significant leadership and a deep commitment to giving back to members of Northeastern's community or surrounding neighborhoods. 
Davina was also the recipient of the Huntington 100 Award. The Outstanding Graduate Student Award in Research went to Everlyn Kimani, Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science. The, this award recognizes an exceptional ability to conduct high-level research and make contributions to the scholarly literature in their fields. The Outstanding Graduate Student Award in Humanics went to Josh Miller. Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science. This award recognizes graduate students who through their education have integrated human literacy with data and technology in their learning or research. Let's congratulate these students. We will now recognize our Corey College Student Award winners. The Master of Science Community Service Award recognizes Rajwinda Singh. Degree candidate for the Master of Science in Computer Science who has made a positive impact on our community. Among his many activities, he has been a three-time teaching assistant, orientation ambassador for fall 2021 students, and volunteer tutor for students in the graduate level algorithms course. Currently, he is president of Corey Master Student Council, promoting students' academic, technical, and spiritual well-being, and fostering collaboration in the university's regional campuses. In addition, he is an accomplished researcher, sharing his work in representing the college at RISE 2020 and the 2020 Richard Tapia Conference. The Master of Teaching Award goes to Maria Clara Suarez Bizarra. degree candidate for the Master of Science in Computer Science Align. Her dedication to teaching students and the learning process is evident in her approach. She is said to walk through challenging concepts with students, patiently guiding them to understanding and enriching the educational experience. While fulfilling her own academic responsibilities, she makes time for students even beyond her scheduled teaching assistant time. She gives actionable advice on assignments and interview preparation. Students view her as a go-to for help. Nominated by his professor and research advisor, Ian Dardick, degree candidate for the Master of Science Computer Science, is the winner of the Master of Science Research Award. In January 2021, with no prior exposure to formal verification, Ian undertook one of its most difficult tasks, using a theorem prover to complete the correctness proof of a real-world distributed protocol and discover a crucial element related to the task. Focused, within six months, he accomplished the related tasks, which later formed the basis of two published conference papers, of which he is co-author. Unfortunately, Ian was not able to make it today's celebration to accept the award. We will now... We will now recognize our master students who received honorable mentions. In community service, we honor Sesesh Kumar Jain. <laughs> degree candidate for the Master of Science in Computer Science. And Davina Rathathe, degree candidate for the Master of Science in Computer Science Align. In teaching, we honor Chandu Patalu Vinay Reddy. <laughs> Degree candidate for the Master of Science Computer Science Align. We honor 
In teaching, we honor Danielle Malari Gagne, degree candidate for the Master of Science in Computer Science Align. In research, we honor Becky Mushado, degree candidate for the Master of Science in Computer Science Align, and Daryl Schreiner, degree candidate for the Master of Science in Computer Science. We will now recognize our PhD students who were previously awarded these awards. This year's PhD research winner is Lydia Zakinthin Nu, a star student in every respect and an accomplished researcher of differential private learning, machine learning and statistics. She has completed two substantial lines of her work, one during her internship at IBM and the other with Professor John Ullman and his research group that led to two papers recognized at the New RIPS a, a prestigious, as, sorry, as prestigious spotlight presentations. In total, she has been a co-author of seven published conference papers. Her maturity as a researcher is on par with her dedication to the college. She is a generous mentor to younger students, co-leads the PhD's women's group, and organizes reading groups and seminars. Our PhD teaching award winner, Benjamin Nye, has established an exceptional record in teaching during his time at Northeastern. As a PhD student, in addition to requisite service as a TA, he has served as an instructor of record in two courses, leading, leading machine learning and, and co-leading a program course with data with Professor Brian Wallace. In both, he excelled designing new materials, taking initiative, and embracing in Eagletarian teaching ethos. As a testament to Ben's commitment to computer science education, he is currently on the academic job market with a focus on teaching-oriented universities. <laughs> the PhD Service Award goes to Alex, Alexi Torset, who made an outstanding contribution to the college's faculty hiring efforts in the last year. The work included coordinating student meetings with candidates, participating in video interviews, and preparing fantastic interview notes. He additionally collected and provided feedback. His nominator, a faculty member on the hiring committee, said that the hiring season would have been quite a bit more challenging without his dedicated, thoughtful service. Let's give one more round of applause for all the award winners. Now, the time we've all been waiting for. I would like to recognize our degree candidates. Will the candidates for all degrees please rise? Please join me in congratulating them. You may, you may be seated. The marshals will now lead the graduates to the platform for individual recognition. Davina Raythatha. <laughs> Bianca Balaji Ramanathan. Arvin Makun. 
Yash Kishorbai Vasani. Sushmita Paul. Virul Patel. Tinjini Bose. Jonathan Ricardo Corzo. Vibhavi Hemant Shah. Dalagi Tanapal. Sadia Sri Vasareddy. Nendita Gurwara. Seen Hamid. Archana Ajit. Kataki Vishwanath Udipi. Nikita Singh. Nicole Jane Galang. Farhan Ansari. Gorong Patel. Oj Cinder. Hitashu Rajesh Kunjani. Sarang Pandey. Sagar Singh. Devanshi Deshwal. Priyal Maheshwari. Prakar Patida. Shantanu Jha. Shitija P. Kulkarni. Nalakshi Gangatre. Shraddha Sathakar. Arjun Katnini. DJ Harizadan Savasekar. Sanjeev Srinath. Sadwick Kumar Shiri. Adars Reddy, Kotha Reddy. Sunith Ravi. Satya Deva Anki. Sapna Sharma. Kavya Gautaman. Arushi Sharma. Kaushik Nishtala. Shubhanshu Gupta. Kumar Anupa. Yishuan Yu. Ying Shen. Deepthi Magana Ganturi.
Iran U. In Yahoo. Connor Anthony Mento. Amit Vijay Kumar Moulet. Nitish Kumar Singh. Andrew Roland Roki. Nishikant Kurohit. Shave Asant Dangre. Zabam Bharat Kukuri. Raghav Devgan. Ashwin Ashok. Yash Jayesh Dagli. Kash Tarun Kumar. Arsh Irfan Modak. Omkar Wagmare. Sweta Maile. Shebna Matthew. Sarah Mada. Alex Chia. Yaselin Cervantes. Gerard Ortalara Canavas. Nicole Berg. Nicholas Bartlett Shepherd. Joseph Burns. Saurabh Mahendra Bhotra. Siddhartha Pant. Tai Huing. Harry Vincent Hartenstein. Fennel Makesh Shah. Jainel Sanjay Patel. Darth Chetan Kumar Lakataria. Yanarth Neshad Desai. Shruti Menon. Lily G. Bassett. Shea Katira. Nikita Salkar. Rachel Angeli Bandalos Mauranyan. Ogeni Nabende Mathuza. Raharsha Singaraju. Yashwant Reddy Virabolu. 
Jianyue Chen. Isak Senna. Chitana Sharma. Harshit Sharma. Mira Surindran. Deepak Kumar. Rahul Gouin. Ritvik Vainad Kumar. Dais Rampakul Joseph. Patrish Hari Harakrishnan. Aman Batra. Gurama Deborah Zachariah. Bolik Pragnish Joshi. Ganshi Samir Shay. Apurva Manjana. Sindhu Vahini Soma Sundaram. How you hook. Alexander Chang Fung Po. Sunny Shukla. We render sing. Sumaksh Yada. Chirag Rajubai Takadia. Kartik Sharma. Samir Keshav Marathi. Nuyang Su. Ang Fung. Betul G. Chang. Hong Chung Chang. Chen Wong. Yian Ding. And Hao Song. Cheng Liu. Ming Lin Shen. Guan Wang. Akanksha Gupta. Naveen Morali. Ruby Paharenthi. Apurva Dorivalin. Chandani Sundaram. Aldo Pialine Anthony Charles. Ashwin Sriram Thiagarajan. Rishi Bharat Balaji. Anuj Anand. Mit Kiri.
Bemsi Mopuri. Ram Sai Superjeet Balabhuni. Yuan Liu. Yu Jia Liu. Franchu Sharad Divan. Ruth Vic Ravindra. Fatika Krishnan. Tanai Vinayak Joshi. Muran Marie Unchavle. Rithika Reddy Gosukanda. Shinyu Ye. Jahao Chai. Nixon Panagrahi. Anjan Vijay Kumar. Arjun Prashant. Anurag Sanjay Banner. Swapnil Bomic. Sajag Porwal. Samir Sinha. Dean Burma. Prachita Sundare. Vignesh Manivanan. Aisha Aziz. Carrie Ann Howlett. Ari Ben Friedman Fleischer. Aran Wan. Samuel Adisu and Jida. Chiang Zhao. Chandupatla Vene Reddy. Ravi Valetti. Priyank Rajen Shela. Rajwal Vijay Kumar Chinch Malatpure. Purim Kinealal Kavathia. Rinabin Rameshbhai Dankara. Danvi Sureshbhai Dankara. Aditi Srivastava. Ayush K. Sai. Marunil Anil Pachkara. Prince Sudhir Kumar Patel. Sai Srihida Yedlapoli. Adipya Chandreshakar. Meet Nendu.
Ragun Singh. Curiato. Nanda Kishore Kasula. Nisar Ahmed Banjari. Vijaya Teja Rayavarapu. Meet Mehta. Tarun Vishal. Gurpreet Kaur. Shriya Venkatesh. Kritika Jaiswal. Anita. Panita Girish Deshpande. Bhuva Jarmale. Pranali Patel. Ame Arya. Rag Shubham. Samkeet Suresh Ganmare. Sayam Pradeep Harne. Yash Manish Kathari. Akshant Mansukhal Savalya. Pranav Srikanth Bhai Kakar. Siddharth Sathya Narayanan. Abdul Rahman. Saurabh Parker. Vaibhav Satish Sarab. Indranil Sunil Mane. Nile Kishore Bardi. Rong Shin Liu. Shaili Rajesh Bhai Gandhi. Mayur Prem Kumar Kuru. Junior Padilla. Shitij Mayang. Kaushik Hala. Kavana Vankatesh. Namaswini Nagaraj. Naga Santosh Kartik Karnadi. Juhi Paliwal. Jia Chen Liu. Chen Ching Gang. Jainam Tushar She. Jia Wei Zhang. Yuan Chao. Pursue Pursu. 
Yu Chen Ji. Shirali Husong. Kyle Peters Faraza. Nishim Busentu Fadris. Jeremy A. Thompson. Marta Palermo. Harry Adams Franklin. Shushma Suresh Kalkunta. Mohammed Sahal Ahmed. Chris B. Martin. Lindsay M. Coffin. William Russin Cohen. Joshua Kalis. Colin Burton D'Souza. Dina Salehi. Miranda Me Tran. Aham Zia. Of Karshna Sinha. Christy Lynn Spicer. Maria Clara Suarez Bazura. Quay Dragon. Juan Ong. Tonroy Burgohai. Alexander Grove. Asti Gaibi Tenashi. Ram Tarun Balagam. Tikumari. Eshwarya Chauhan. Wuhan Shobana. Sayanarayana Vadlamani. Prajakta Dharmi. Rutha Lakshmi Vimpati. Shonak Bhattacharya. Habithra Penchacharam. Jacqueline Kristen Durr. Akash Boda. Yi Chung Wong. Elizabeth Ann Donovan. Alvin Chandy. Dora B. Fink. Song. Ed, 
Aish Kumar Jain. Rajwinder Singh. Mohal Shrutastava. Nicholas Aaron Lunsford. Logan Mednick. Rania Rachel Casey. San Giovanni Arti Indoor Jethwani. Juan Francisco Alfaro. Darius is a Gohi Edwards. Aja Kadijatu Kaletu Savage. Jamal Adin. Aditya Tekker. Wong Fan Lee. Yash Shah. Jane Margaret Rudy. Kaylee Michelle Morin. Thomas Francis McGorty. David Mack. Shashu Zhu. Ka Young. Sun Bausch. Kosher. Ramesh Minette mentioned her in her oath today. You go forth as Corey graduates, a member of society with an obligation to use computer science to enhance society, to protect the dignity of our users, respect the privacy of all people, to make a positive impact on this world. Let's get to it. From everyone here at Corey, congratulations to the class of 2022.
Please exit out of the side doors of the arena or the front entrance. Guests may join their students outside of the arena. Staff and signage will direct you. Thank you. Yeah, I ride for my I lied about we some poor high class made it, we rich, yeah. I was at the band door, got a penthouse for a closet, ooh, it's like a shando. Lay on my neck, my wrist, ooh. I got pink toes that talk different languages, ooh. Got professors in my blood, and perks and sit, uh. Hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on the ring of love, ooh. All the flu went out to Spain to be in my domain, all the models, ooh. Drop three dollars on the rain, cause it's been the truck, look. Ooh, I was in the trap, serving cocaine, they ain't been the same since. That's by the time I call a Serene. I go tremendo for new fettuccine. All oh, fat though, carrot the pinky. All oh, fat though, we order the Fiji. I'm in the loop with the voo. I'm in the loop with the woo. Which one you work? I put your face to the news. I put the on the shirt. After I murk it, make go shoot up the hearse. Cost me a quarter bird. Gets birthed and you a maniac. I'm an alien. How you spurting? Got that kitty cat. I'm having fun with that. Going Birkin. Uh, Hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on the finger of the I done flew one out to Spain to be in my domain in Automata. Drop three dollars on the rain, cause it's been the truck, look. Ooh, I was in the trap, serving cocaine, they ain't been the same since. Hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on the finger of the cheapest ring on the finger of the Hundred thousand for the cheapest ring in the